Okay, beloveds, I've been um, praying about something and the Holy Spirit's given me a lot of revelation on it. So bear with me here. Okay. From the kingdom husband's perspective, um, kingdom marriages don't function like uh, the marriages of the lukewarm or the secular. A uh, kingdom husband was paired with his kingdom wife. But the two spirits, because they're one flesh, remember that part, are able to feel each other. So that's been really hard for a lot of people. I keep hearing about generational curses and things like that. Every curse was broken a long time ago. I wish people wouldn't um, pursue that. Um, what I saw, familiar spirits. So I like to pinpoint exactly what's going on. So in my kingdom marriage, uh, God felt she needed to come down a few pegs because it was really um, stressful for me to always have to pray and figure out what is going on. And I wasn't sure if um, she was intentionally, and the spirit tells me no, that I have a good godly woman. And I've just wanted to provide her all the grace I can. And I pray for her every moment. From what the Holy Spirit revealed to me is her family had something to do with it. Um, she had eight demons. I keep saying that because it was a simple, um, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit, so you wouldn't have any type of generational curse if you were sealed with the Holy Spirit. And I kept praying to have her um, sealed with the Holy Spirit. I can feel how broken she is and how um, she's been really feeling like, I can't believe I did this. So I'm gonna give her the strength to um, reach out to me. I had to first make sure that this whole, um, her getting deceived so easily stopped. That was hurtful. What she did here was hurtful, but it wouldn't have been hurtful unless I loved her. So if that's what it took to prove that, then that's good. Um, I got offered a job today after um, my angel brought me a cell phone. Perfect timing after I was praying about trying to prove I'm not crazy. And that's been a hard thing is people not understanding when they have a demon telling them something. And the hugest part was elevating my church from um, the lukewarm. And I did that so people can see the difference. I got tired of people using my name and being a Christian and just doing things to others that I just couldn't see how any Christian could ever do these things so I've been letting a lot of people uh, wake up and they've been asking what spirit were they actually following so that's good and then casting them out <coughs> and I had to do it so blatantly that when we come back together and we will we don't um, ever abandon each other and we don't fight against each other. Um, <clears throat> I was showing her exactly why these things happened to her when she moved to Sodom and Gomorrah and I really couldn't believe that she went back. So 
God was leading us out and we were supposed to be building our life here. And both me and God, when you're dealing with free will, there's only so much patience we have with people sometimes. And we felt like she was not allowing us to continue forward, that we have a purpose, that we're supposed to be um, living together and taking care of each other for such a time as this so that neither one of us got confused. And many of you have been going through it and you know, I've been telling you that you're gonna forgive them and you're gonna show them grace. And what I've been trying to convey to people, especially the prodigal spouses, you not doing anything is not gonna help you at all. I've been telling the prodigal spouses, you need to make it right. And you'll get your spirit cleaned again. You gotta take those steps. So a lot of people, their lives just fell apart when um, they tried to go outside of God's will for their marriage. And I recognize that and I've been trying to help a lot of people see that they can't blame each other. And there's nothing you can't overcome with Jesus. There's nothing that Jesus can't fix. But ignoring the problem isn't going to make you feel any better. It's not going to restore your relationship with God. Because I'll be convicting you until you do. And for the spouses that remained in God's will, I'm blessing you guys right now. Setting you up to kind of show you off. And things are about to get insanely easier this is finally over amen amen and all the people said all right i love you